Hi, my name is Molly Webb and I'm going to be doing my presentation on the movie Unbroken. This is a movie about an Olympic runner named Louis Zamperini, other words known as Louis, who goes to war, which was World War II at the time, and after their plane they shot down in the Pacific Ocean, forcing them to go 47 days without enough food or water in the middle of the ocean. They are kidnapped and held as slaves in Japan, and Louis is targeted by a cruel prison commander and tortured for two years. The main character of this story is Louis Zamperini, a World War II veteran, Christian, and Olympic distance runner. The leadership of the main character is Louis' brother saw him getting in trouble and being looked at as the bad kid, but he also saw the potential that Louis had, which was running. He pushed and trained with Louis, leading him into the Olympics when he was drafted into the World War II, which canceled the Olympics that he was going to run in, but he had previously ran, ran in the Olympics. He was an empowering person because although he was destroying the ocean during the war, he was looking out for the people he was with and stayed strong even during the death of his partner and through the lack of food, water, and shelter. As a leader, he accomplished many things from running in the Olympics to surviving the World War II and living many years after his harsh and cruel treatment in Japan. I believe this also shows that he had great faith because although there were many times he was treated cruelly by the by the prison commander, he stayed strong and he was brave through all the obstacles that came his way. The most prominent leadership trait that I think Louis had was, and that this movie presents was, he had the traits of perseverance, courage, teamwork, and faith. The principles and ideas that could be taken away from this are that although Louis is a great example of leadership to his partners in the war, along with his attitude that anything is possible and perseverance through hard times, his brother also shows a lot of leadership. Louis possibly could have never ran, but just been in trouble his whole life. And since his brother saw the potential that he had when no one else did, that led him to the Olympics and to his success. Quotes and examples from or of leadership of Louis from the movie and just from him speaking are one moment of pain is worth a lifetime of glory. I had made it this far and refused to give up because all my life I had always finished the race. Yet a part of you still believes you can fight and survive no matter what your mind knows. It is it's not so strange. Where there's still life, there's still hope. What happens is up to God. God knew my needs and took care accordingly. To live, a man needs food, water, and a sharp mind. After asking Christ into his heart, in parentheses, I waited, and then, true to his promise, he came to my heart and to my life. The moment was more than remarkable. It was the most realistic experience I had ever had. I'm not sure what I expected. Perhaps my life or my sins or a great white light would flash before my eyes. Perhaps I'd feel a shock, like being hit by a bolt of lightning. Instead, I felt no tremendous sensation, just a weightless and enveloping calm that let me to know that Christ had come into my heart. I chose those quotes because I think that, like in the previous slide, they present perseverance, courage, teamwork, and faith that he had all throughout his life many things to take away from this movie like faith and perseverance. Louis is the perfect example that God, that with God all things are possible and to keep pushing because there's always something good at the end, which in, the, which in this case can mean an award or simply just life. There were so many times he could have broke down and given up when he was training stranded at sea or held captive, but he kept pushing and he kept his faith because he knew that God was with him and he knew that his pain was only temporary this remarkable trait even throughout his life with running because he knew that while you're running it may be painful and you may want to give up but he knew just to keep on going and because the ward was so much bigger than that. I have loved this movie ever since it came out because it is real and I believe it is such a good movie to take away information from because Louis was truly a remarkable man and I think he 100% deserved a movie to document and remember his life and what he went through. Maybe I decided to do more research and learn about what happened post-war and post all the torture that he went through. I came to find an article stating, 
Scared by his ordeal, upon his return home, Zambrini suffered from alcoholism, and he and his wife, Cynthia, came close to divorce. In parentheses, it says, they stayed married through 54 years until her death in 2001. What brought Zambrini back to the brink was hearing a Billy Graham sermon in Los Angeles in 1949, a sermon that inspired Zambrini and began his healing process. I think this story shows the connection with God because although he was scared, or scarred, I mean, he was able to overcome alcoholism and divorce. And I think, again, this shows his perseverance and his faith because he didn't just keep giving in to alcoholism and let that ruin his marriage or his life. Like, he got himself together and God spoke to him and he heard him. I think this movie is a perfect example of a leader because I looked up the definition of a leader and it is the person who leads or commands a group, organization, or country. So I think almost in every aspect he was a leader because even when he was being tortured by the Japanese commander, he stayed strong. He didn't give up. He didn't go crazy and kill himself or anything. He just kept on pushing and he proved to his other teammates like how strong of a man that he was despite through his actions because he was in the war so even that is just a remarkable thing like to be able to go and serve our country this movie i think truly shows that no matter how hard times could get and no matter how much it seems like life couldn't get worse i mean he was all the way at the top winning the olympics and then all of a sudden he's drafted into war and he's with his buddies they're going into war having the time of their life i mean not really but like you know and then, and then before you know it your plane's getting crashed down and your whole life has changed like i'm sure going into war he knew his possibilities but i don't think that he would have ever thought that he would have been stranded on a boat and washed up to the japanese shore and been taken captive like and just his attitude through the whole thing shows how much of a leader he truly was and how strong in the faith that he was